Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. Today, I'm going to go, uh... Challenge a Volcano to hand-to-hand -hand combat. If only I had a dreamy friend to help with that. Alright, so first, I need to stop off in Nimbus Land. And while I'm here, I'm going to buy some armor for a princess. Armor fit for a princess. Yes. Whoops. Oh well, doesn't matter. Because I would like her to be able to participate in combat when she is not a... Wow, 929 coins still almost maxed out. When she's not being the uber tank. Up ahead are the hot springs, but only royalty is allowed. Hey, you're the real prince. Sorry about the misunderstanding, but there's no way that fat bird could have been a prince, huh? No big deal. Anyway, do you think you're the last through here? Of course. Go right ahead. Please enjoy yourselves. Be careful not to fall into the volcano. I mean, that fat bird became a prince the instant he was announced as such and accepted as such. So... If I stay in here for a while, Mario will overheat and then jump out on his own. That was just something I thought was neat. Danger! Beyond the cliffs is the volcano. Cool, so where are the cliffs? Ah! I love that little scene. And the music for this place is amazing. I wish more Super Mario Bros. X episodes would use this music. Take this, armored ant. Would have helped if the shogun whatever was called armored ant instead. Oh, wow. Right! I forgot to wear my special shoes for killing a... I messed up. Defense up, heck yeah. Three. Seventy-four, nice. Lucky. Nice. One. Ninety, okay. I forgot to wear my special shoes. Let's gamble it all! Oh. The thing to remember about this is that my expected re the expected return on that oh, right. The expected returns on gambling there are uh come on brain one times the base experience you are offered there you go the expected change to your experience there averages out to zero And once again, I find that Toadstool is not contributing meaningfully to combat. By, by being able to bypass these enemies' immunity to jump, Mario is able to take them out in one hit with jump. Yeah. 
Oh, nice, a bracer. I'm glad the sign was there because I always miss that other that there's a passage there. Alright, let's swap Toadstool out for Bowser. I do not want to fight the undead if I can avoid it. Nice. Lucky. Eh. Oh, nice. Lucky again. Too bad they don't stack. Alright. And then go... Defeat the last one with a jump attack. Because spin jumps are as broken in this game as they are in a... Oh wait, that's just doubling my money. I don't even care. Oh no, my nine coins that I would have won got reduced to zero. Oh hey, a new flower. That's very nice. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, lucky doesn't stack. Yeah, sure. Anyway, there's something to be said for... Oh my. For being being willing and able to adjust your tactics to the situation at, and party composition and equipment to the situation at hand. Even though it's super tiny to just take... Oh, double experience. To just take the most powerful setup you can find for bosses and then uh, use it for everything. Since technically bosses are the most powerful things you'll encounter. Never mind that you might get through normal combats more efficiently, consuming less resources by uh, using a more offensively oriented setup. What? That didn't pop out a lucky flower for me. Oh well. Alright, what's this? Yes! Well, that was kind of a disappointing... Oh, much better. Oh no! Bowser reached level 18. Heck yeah, and learned Bowser Crush. Two attack points. Oh yeah. Oh no, I got caught. Not the combat I was expecting. Okay, so. Pyrosphere. Whoops. Mario's gonna jump on these things. 248. Drain. Oh, nice. Actually, I want to know what the difference in damage is between Mario's jump and his lazy shell. The jump is actually slightly weaker than the most powerful weapon in the whole game. Hmm. Well, for now. Whoops. For now, at least. If I can either jump and not be able to go anywhere because I'm jumping into the wall or miss my jump and walk into the magma. Ooh, the princess leveled up and learned Psych Bomb. Sure, I'll raise your, yeah, your standard attack power. All right, so. So, I want that frog coin. Lucky! T 
277, heck yeah, ow. Wait, that's the wrong one. That's the one that I already attacked. Alright, so. I should be able to take these out. Double your coins? That's not worth the time it takes to do that. Oh hey, another single loan. Uh, what should I do? Is it? All right, so close yet so far. So close yet so far. I'll get it eventually. Did I jump past it? Yes, got it at last. Sorry, Pyrosphere. I just don't care about you. Oh my. If I destroy the Corkpedite without destroying the body, the body will attempt to give me a migraine, killing me outright. Ah. Oh, really? In here in the volcano, they are less forgiving than they are in the pipe vault. How sad. Huh. Weird, I missed the coin. Eh. Okay, so then. Huh. Okay, there we are. The coin was on top of the... I'll make it eventually. Okay. Oh, hey. There are spike... I really do not want to be fighting those enemies. I don't know why, but I just don't. Oh, hey, look, an angry tree stump. I thought for some reason there'd be a second star in the volcano. I don't know why. Let's fight the angry tree stump. Stump it. Lucky! Alright, stump it. Let's see how you handle this. This volcano has such weird and fascinating monsters. I am sure there's that. Oh no, the stump is getting furious. Magmus, a redo from the mines way back when. But there's also Stump It! And the Cork Poditon body. Double your coins! Game, game, pay attention. This is how many coins I have. Do you really think I need more? Alright, so... I don't know why I'm so averse to battling... These, I mean, it's so simple to defeat them. I mean, look at that. That reminds me. I'm full up on items again. Haha! -ha. Oh. Take that! Attack up! For a second there, I thought I was going to make it past that thing without a... 
having to engage in battle. Take that, body. Nice. Alright, so... Oh, whoops! So, my alarm just went off telling me that it's time to, uh... Well... S call it a day, so next time I reach a save point, I'll do just that. Alright. Oh, hey, another angry tree monster. Huh, I almost got by without engaging it. Lucky. Two thirty three. Yep. In this place, it's more important to be able to take out those rock monsters in one hit than it is to be able to heal. Take that, Stumpet. You've been defeated. Double your coins? I can- I literally cannot carry any more coins. The coins I gained from this battle I'm already just, like, abandoning on the ground nearby. I keep hoping that I misread one of the attack boosts. Oh nice, that one didn't even activate. Oh hey! Look at this! For years I misunderstood what I was looking at with this character. Like, this is a toad. And I didn't even notice this until I thought about the name. This is the toad. He has a face. He has a mushroom cap. For years I thought the mushroom cap was his head. And like his eyes were just concealed behind that red mask that I interpreted him to be wearing. Hey there. Whew, I thought I heard a foot footsteps. For me, I thought I was nuts. I'm Hinopio. This place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. Hinomart. Welcome to the item shop. Don't need any more items. Welcome to the inn. 30 coins will get you a room. You staying? Great, I'll get everything ready for you. And Mario's just sleeping face down in a pack of boxes. Morning. Now, wasn't that a cushy bed? Oh, hey, these look kind of familiar. Not really to me. Welcome to the armor shop. No weapons, just armor. Let's buy fire dress, which provides no fire resistance. Well, actually, I'm going to equip you with the lazy shell and switch you in for the next fight. Alright, join me next time when I head further in and fight the Tsar Dragon. It's legendary. Thanks for time, buddy. You can always come back, you know. Interesting. Anyway, join me next time when I do that thing I said.